this is Lucy, a 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. She's got a small block Chevy mated to her original four-speed standard transmission. Oh yeah, like it's nothing. Lucy is mostly stock, but she does have a two and a half inch lift, 33 inch all-terrain tires, Bilstein shocks, and a rear locking differential. Oh yeah, and a Warren winch up front. Today we're in Tahuya, Washington at the ORV park. Lucy's chasing around one of her good old friends, a 1948 CJ3A Millie's. Although she's at home in this area, and this is pretty much her native habitat, uh, she does have a tough time keeping up with some of them newer fandangled rigs. That said, when those new fandangled rigs see Lucy coming along, typically jump out of the way and give us a, a wave as we slowly meander by. When Toyota built these old rigs, they weren't focused on comfort as much as they were durability and capability. These old girls aren't real fast anywhere, but there isn't a lot that they can't do. Although it's pretty difficult to pull out those workhorse straight sixes that came in these old Land Cruisers and replace it with an American V8, but I gotta tell ya, cruising down the highway at 70 miles per hour once in a while and getting better than 12 miles per gallon, well, that's pretty nice. We spent much of our summer fixing up this old girl, tightening bolts and knocking off some rust. We upgraded the seats and softened up the springs a little bit in order to make it a little more comfortable for the missus. All in preparation for a trip in the later fall to Moab, Utah. We wanted to see how this old girl would do crawling over some rocks and playing in the sand. Moab was one of our bucket list destinations. We trailered her over there from Washington State with our friends who owned the old Jeep in the background there. We made it to Boise on our first day when, well, a friend's transmission in his motorhome died. From there, my wife and I continued on to Moab the next day. Uh, but once we got there, uh, my wife started feeling a little sick, so she spent one day in bed while I went around and explored a little bit. And that evening we decided it might be time for a COVID test. Well, our trip was cut short. We were forced to head back home the next day. Hopefully we can make it back next year to see how this old girl does. However, we did get a little taste of Moab in that one short day, and it was pretty sweet. 